Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, out on another adventure, very overcast today, but I'm in Outwood on the way to look at a couple of churches. Uh, first I want to bring you to, of course, the windmill at Outwood, the oldest working, oh it's a little drone going up, the oldest uh, working windmill in England, built in 1665. It used to be part of two windmills, but we can't go in, it's appointment only, which is fair enough. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll have a little look around. It's amazing, amazing. Beautiful outward mill. It's said that the builders of the um, of the mill observed the Great Fire of London from a distance. Um, how true that is, I don't know. But yeah, it's a, lo it's a lovely working windmill. Uh, there is... Please take one. Achieve a lawn to be proud of. Sorry, I thought it was actually a, a, a guidebook. So yeah, outward m windmill. Lovely. Very cool. And... Um, Let's uh, just have a quick look around. So we're at St John the Baptist Church, Victorian Church uh, in Outwood, with the foundation stone laid in 1862. I was here last doing a walk around Outwood in 2016, and back then I did loads and loads and loads of walking, but I was only taking photos, I only occasionally took video. Um, but this is a lovely little church, I'd say I'm not really a big fan of Victorian churches. It's really peaceful, you've got obviously a lot of, every, it's interesting, we're right by a little uh, sort of, uh, side road, but every vehicle that goes past is a delivery van. No cars, it's a delivery van. Interesting. How our landscape is changing, but we all need it, so. Yeah, nice little church I did, so have a little look around. Um, yeah, it's very overcast today, I do apologise, not my fault, I can't control the weather. It's a bit muggy, but it's very overcast. But we're heading into a bit of a heat wave next week, so. Um, I wish it was an old door, but it's not, because it's Victorian, isn't it? So. <laughs> What's quite interesting about this church is Victorian, but they look like very old gravestones. I'm trying to think back to research, was there any church on this site before? I don't think there was. Um, but yeah, look, they look really, really old. Um, if anyone knows, please educate me. Yeah, a lot of the uh, inscriptions have been weathered off. Um, especially ones near the church, which always means they're the earliest. So, uh, yeah, don't know about that one. The tower was added in 1874. So that's quite new. It's actually very nice. I'm not, when I say I don't like Victorian churches, I do. I mean, they're beautiful buildings, absolutely beautiful buildings, but they haven't got the history, unless they were built on the site of an earlier church. You know, it's all about the history. It's lovely here, it's really quaint. Did I just say quaint? Don't use that word ever again, Mark. Oh, here's some information here. St John the Baptist Outward is a relatively young church built in 1869, so a real youngster compared to St Mary the Virgin in Horn, which I will go to at some point, uh, which is 13th century. And St Bartholomew Burstow, which we've done before, I'll link that video below, where the oldest dark parts date back to the 11th century. Wow. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I will go to that church in Horn. I wasn't going to do that today, actually, but um, uh, we'll do that some other time. 
let's see if it's open. so nice to come into a church there's no one else here i know i've said that before and it's very selfish i know but you're here and you can contemplate i mean when i turn the camera off i take you know 10 minutes meditation nice yeah ladies and gentlemen please subscribe to my youtube channel oh so yeah, it's really nice just to come into a church and just sort of relax, meditate, gather your thoughts. Just sort of slow down, it's that video I had with uh, Mick the other day. Uh, just slow down, take time out, you know, people are just up constantly, constantly. I mean, I'm fundamentally, here's the thing, I'm fundamentally quite a lazy person. I don't have that get up and go drive, which a lot of other people do, which I think is uh, quite envy, really. Um, I'm very slow paced. You know, so yeah, but it is nice, isn't it, just to come here and just take time out, relax, and ponder your thoughts. Because it's so quiet. Lots of, uh, Dedications to Ukraine, solidarity with solidarity with Ukraine in these churches. A bit dark in here, so I'm not going to do any filming. This is where they go up to the do the bell ringing and that kind of stuff. some information here as well in the village of outwood archaeological work has shown that the area was visited by early man during the mesolithic period and the evidence of stone pottery and flint artifacts indicate permanent settlement took place from the neolithic and bronze ages these early humans had believed ceremonies and rites which we would describe as pagan i don't think they've described them as pagan but that's the word we use yeah Okay, onwards we go, remembering to turn the lights off as I go out and head up to the church at Nutfield, which I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Let's hope it's open. So here we are at St Peter and St Paul's Church in Nutfield. Lovely old church, probably got Saxon uh, origins. Just on this little bit of a steep hill coming out of um, Nutfield itself. You probably hear constant humming in the background. That's the M23 motorway and the M25 intersection nearby at Merstham. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a constant. It's fine. They can, the traffic can stay over there. Yeah. Right, let's have a little walk around this uh, lovely old church. Door alert, door alert. Look at that. Loving it. There's a sign here. Unfortunately, we have to keep this church locked for security purposes. Keys are available from the rector. I'm not gonna go all down that road. That's a shame. 
some churches out in the sticks are open and they say here which is still out in the sticks a little bit um, I mean we're in Nutfield got a really nice porch here really nice porch like wrought iron gates with a padlock on God Churchyard descends into a dark passage. Ooh, is this a public walkway? Could be. Let's just investigate. Yes, I think it's a, oh, it comes out by a pathway. So this could be part of a walking trail around Outwood. The one I did was off Fancy Free Walks website, which lists all these great walks um, around Surrey, Kent, West Sussex, East Sussex. Oh yeah, 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 here we go. Oh, this is rather nice. Oh, I'll set it again, rather nice drinking game. Yeah, and it then goes down, down that way. This is interesting. I think this applies to most churchyards, doesn't it? Churchyards are an important haven for a wide range of insects, birds, mammals and plants. So though we may enjoy the wildflowers which proliferate in the spring, part of the churchyard is left uncut until after the finish, the flowering has uh, finished. In other areas, the grass is left long uh, until the autumn, providing nourishment for countless insects and birds. I've just seen two rabbits running around playing with each other. <laughs> that was so cute. Uh, Richard Vobes, if you're watching, plenty of logs here for your SE. Plenty of logs. Look at that. Bit big, might be cutting up. It's really nice, uh, really nice spot. This, you know, I was saying about in another video recently. Where I said I didn't get a vibe from a church or the area from a church. I don't know why, but here um, I do. It's really just nice, lovely setting. Um, although there's a constant hum of traffic I've said before but it's really nice and I love the churchyard uh, as you can as you can see Just a nice little walk around a couple of churches today. Very simple vlog, this one. Now it's time for a pub lunch at the Inn on the Pond. Let's go. Hello. How are you? Oh. Sorry, everyone, cat alert. What's your name? What's your name? So about to go for a pub lunch at the Inn on the Pond near Mercer's Pond, Mercer's Park. Um, the last time I was here was about 2016, 17. Big costume store here when we were doing Poles and Lacey open air Shakespeare over at the National Trust property of uh, Poles and Lacey. But yeah. Um, let's go and uh, have some lunch. That was a lovely pub lunch in the Inn on the Pond. Uh, in Nutfield, really, really nice, lovely staff. 
Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little video, just a couple of churches, a windmill and a pub lunch. All's good. Do the usual, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you can. Much appreciated. And we'll see you next time. Take care.